In the heart of Texas, at SpaceX's Starbase facility, something extraordinary is happening. Engineers are making bold moves with Starship's design that nobody saw coming. As Flight 7's launch window approaches on January 13th, the team has unveiled a striking modification to their flagship vehicle, and it's not what anyone expected. Inside Mega Bay 2, Starship stands tall, its black thermal protection system gleaming under the bright industrial lights. But look closer, and you'll notice something unusual. Strategic gaps in the heat shield tiles. These aren't manufacturing defects or damage. They're intentional changes that could revolutionize how we think about spacecraft thermal protection. SpaceX has modified approximately 177,000 heat shield tiles in this latest iteration, known as Starship Phi 2. These changes represent more than just a simple upgrade. They're a complete rethinking of how we protect spacecraft during the inferno of atmospheric reentry. The question on everyone's mind, why would SpaceX deliberately remove sections of the very shield designed to protect Starship during its most critical phase of flight? The answer could change everything we know about spacecraft design. Hey everyone, welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in space technology and innovation. Let's dive right in. The story of Starship's heat shield begins not with triumph, but with challenge. Three years ago, when Elon Musk first revealed SpaceX's ambitious plans for a fully reusable spacecraft, critics said it couldn't be done. The heat shield alone, they argued, would make rapid reusability impossible. Traditional spacecraft use ablative heat shields that burn away during re-entry, a one-and-done approach that worked for Apollo, but wouldn't cut it for Starship's ambitious mission profile. Standing in Mega Bay 2 today, looking up at Starship's gleaming black surface, those early doubts feel like ancient history, but the path to this moment has been anything but smooth. Each test flight has written its own chapter in Starship's development story. Each landing, successful or not, has taught the team invaluable lessons about what it takes to build a spacecraft truly capable of reaching Mars. The missing tiles we're seeing on Starship Romine are to tell a fascinating story of engineering evolution. These aren't random gaps, they're precisely calculated windows into SpaceX's bold new approach to thermal protection. Each missing section follows a careful horizontal pattern around the ship's body, creating what engineers call thermal test zones. But why take such a risk with one of the most critical systems on the spacecraft? To understand this decision, we need to dive into the brutal physics of atmospheric reentry. When a spacecraft plunges back into Earth's atmosphere at 7.8 kilometers per second, about 17,000 miles per hour, it creates a shock wave of superheated plasma that turns the surrounding air into a furnace hot enough to melt steel. The temperatures reach a staggering 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to vaporize most materials known to mankind. Picture yourself sitting in a spacecraft during re-entry. Outside your window, a violent storm of purple and orange flames dances across the heat shield. The vessel shakes as supersonic winds try to tear it apart. This isn't science fiction. It's the reality faced by every astronaut who's ever returned from space. As one astronaut described it, it's like riding a meteor back to Earth. The conventional wisdom has always been simple. More protection equals better chances of survival. But SpaceX is challenging this fundamental assumption. By strategically removing tiles, they're not just testing the heat shield, they're rewriting the rules of spacecraft design. The first possibility is that SpaceX has discovered something revolutionary about structural durability. By exposing certain areas of the spacecraft's skin directly to re-entry conditions, they can test whether the underlying structure is more resilient than previously thought. If successful, this could lead to a dramatic simplification of future designs making Starship lighter, more efficient, and easier to maintain. But there's another more intriguing possibility. Hidden beneath those missing tiles might be a sophisticated system of ablative layers, special materials designed to sacrifice themselves during re-entry, carrying away deadly heat in the process. This would represent a hybrid approach never before attempted in spacecraft design, combining the durability of tiles with the simplicity of ablative protection. The most revolutionary possibility, however, lies in the potential use of evaporative cooling. 
Imagine a network of microscopic channels running through Starship skin, carrying coolant that evaporates under intense heat, creating a protective barrier of vapor. It's similar to how human skin cools itself through perspiration, but engineered to work in the extreme conditions of atmospheric re-entry. This isn't just about making a better spacecraft, it's about making space travel practical. Every hour spent replacing heat shield tiles is an hour Starship isn't flying. Every pound of thermal protection is a pound that could be used for cargo or life support systems for Mars missions. SpaceX's engineers understand that the perfect solution isn't always the most obvious one. The evolution of Starship's thermal protection system goes beyond just the missing tiles. The team has made numerous other refinements that showcase their attention to detail. They've introduced smaller, more precisely fitted tiles around critical areas like the forward flaps. These aren't just aesthetic changes. They're the result of hard-won experience from previous test flights. Near the nose cone, the heat shield now extends significantly lower, protecting more of the windward side during re-entry. This change appears to be a direct response to data collected from earlier flights, showing how real-world experience shapes each iteration of the design. What's particularly fascinating is how SpaceX has addressed the challenge of thermal expansion. The new smaller tiles around the external struts are secured with clips instead of adhesive, allowing for movement as the spacecraft heats and cools. It's this kind of detailed engineering that often goes unnoticed but makes the difference between success and failure in space. Looking at the history of space exploration, we've seen many vehicles attempt re-entry. The space shuttle used ceramic tiles that required extensive maintenance between flights. The Soyuz capsule still uses an ablative heat shield that burns away during re-entry. But Starship is attempting something unprecedented, a heat shield designed for rapid reuse with minimal refurbishment. The scope of SpaceX's ambition becomes clear when you consider the numbers. A traditional spacecraft might need weeks or months of inspection and repair between flights. Starship aims to land, refuel, and launch again within hours. This isn't just an incremental improvement. It's a fundamental reimagining of what's possible in spaceflight. The missing tiles on Starship Byring 2 represent more than just a technical experiment. They're a symbol of SpaceX's approach to innovation. While other aerospace companies might spend years running computer simulations and ground tests, SpaceX believes in learning through real-world experience. Each test flight provides data that no simulation could predict, helping to refine and improve the design. As we look ahead to Flight 7, these modifications to the heat shield raise both excitement and questions. Will this new approach prove successful? Could it revolutionize how we think about thermal protection in spacecraft? The answers will come soon enough, written in the fiery trail of Starship's return from space. The heat shield story reflects a broader truth about space exploration. The greatest innovations often come not from following established wisdom, but from questioning it. Three years ago, the idea of gaps in a heat shield would have seemed absurd. Today, it might just be the key to making regular space travel a reality. For the engineers working on Starship, this isn't just a technical challenge, it's personal. Every modification, every test, every flight brings us one step closer to their ultimate goal. Making humanity a multi-planetary species, the heat shield isn't just protecting a spacecraft, it's protecting a dream that's been generations in the making. As we watch Starship being prepared for its next flight, we're not just witnessing the evolution of a heat shield, we're watching the future of space travel take shape. The missing tiles might look like gaps in the armor, but they could be windows into a future where space travel is as routine as air travel is today. SpaceX's journey with Starship's thermal protection system reminds us that the path to innovation isn't always straightforward. Sometimes the best solutions come from having the courage to question our most basic assumptions about what's possible and what's necessary. As we look forward to Flight 7, one thing is certain. The lessons learned from these bold experiments will shape the future of space exploration for generations to come. As Flight 7 approaches, these strategic modifications to Starship's heat shield represent more than just technical innovation. They symbolize SpaceX's relentless pursuit of making space travel accessible to humanity. Each missing tile is a calculated risk, a step toward proving that conventional wisdom can be challenged and surpassed. The evolution of Starship's thermal protection system demonstrates that the greatest breakthroughs often come from questioning our fundamental assumptions.
Whether through the innovative use of smaller tiles, the strategic placement of gaps, or the potential integration of evaporative cooling, SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what's possible in spacecraft design. What are your thoughts on these bold changes to Starship's heat shield? Share your perspective in the comments below. We're particularly interested in hearing your theories about SpaceX's testing strategy. If you want to stay updated on the latest developments in space technology and Starship's journey, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours and hit that notification bell. Your support helps us continue bringing you in-depth coverage of humanity's greatest space adventures. Until next time, keep looking up. The future of space travel is being written right before our eyes. Breaking news from Starbase, SpaceX has just revolutionized Starship with upgrades that are pushing engineering limits beyond what anyone expected. The latest vehicle, dubbed Starship FUV2, isn't just an improvement, it's a complete transformation that's redefining our expectations for space transportation. After analyzing every technical detail released by SpaceX, we've uncovered innovations that are truly groundbreaking. From redesigned flight surfaces to experimental heat shield technology, this latest iteration packs more advanced features than even close observers anticipated. Today, we're taking you through a comprehensive breakdown of every major upgrade on Flight 7 Starship. We'll explore the enhanced propulsion systems, cutting-edge avionics, and revolutionary design changes that make this vehicle a game-changer for SpaceX's ambitious plans. Let's dive right in. Today, we're witnessing a turning point in spaceflight history with SpaceX's latest creation. The engineering breakthroughs packed into this new Starship are redefining what we thought possible in rocket design. Let's start with one of the most striking changes that caught everyone's attention at Starbase. The upper flaps of Starship have undergone a dramatic transformation. These aren't just minor tweaks. SpaceX has fundamentally reimagined how these crucial control surfaces work. The flaps are now more compact, positioned closer to the nose, and deliberately placed further from the heat shield. This isn't just about aesthetics, it's a brilliant solution to a challenge that's plagued previous flights. By moving these surfaces away from the intense heat of re-entry, SpaceX has simplified one of the most complex parts of the vehicle, the dynamic seal that's been consistently damaged on earlier missions. But here's where things get really interesting. The SpaceX team has managed to increase the propellant volume by an astounding 25%. Think about that for a moment. That's a quarter more fuel in essentially the same space. This boost in capacity dramatically extends what Starship can do, though it does mean sacrificing some payload volume. But don't worry, Starship still dwarfs every other rocket when it comes to cargo space. The innovations don't stop at the surface level. SpaceX has implemented vacuum-jacketed propellant feed lines, a sophisticated solution to prevent precious fuel from boiling off during flight. This might sound like a small detail, but in the vacuum of space, every drop of propellant matters. They've also completely revamped the fuel delivery system for the Raptor vacuum engines and upgraded the propulsion avionics. These changes aren't just improvements. They're transformative upgrades that could extend Starship's operational capabilities far beyond what was previously possible. Let's talk about one of the most crucial systems on any spacecraft, the heat shield. The latest generation of tiles includes something unprecedented, a backup layer. If a tile breaks or gets damaged during the intense heat of re-entry, there's now a safety net. But SpaceX isn't just playing it safe, they're pushing boundaries. On this flight, they've intentionally left some heat shield sections exposed as a stress test. Even more intriguing are the experimental metal heat shield tiles, including one with active cooling technology. This active cooling system is particularly fascinating. While SpaceX hasn't revealed all the details, we could be looking at either transpirational cooling, where tiny holes in the metal release propellant to create a protective boundary layer, or regenerative cooling similar to what keeps rocket engines from melting. Either way, this is cutting-edge technology that could revolutionize how we handle the extreme temperatures of atmospheric re-entry. The avionics system has received a complete overhaul that's nothing short of revolutionary. The new flight computer isn't just more powerful, 
It's part of a sophisticated network that includes integrated Starlink connectivity, enhanced navigation systems, and redundant RF communications. They've added new inertial navigation capabilities, star trackers, and smart batteries. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete reimagining of how a spacecraft thinks and communicates. Speaking of communication, SpaceX has outdone themselves with the camera systems. The new Starship carries over 30 high-definition cameras, more than any launch vehicle in history. Thanks to Starlink integration, these cameras can stream at an unprecedented 120 megabits per second.